does it seem easier to show anger than tears? Do you fear being judged as weak if you show vulnerability? Or maybe you felt at a loss when trying to understand or express your emotions. You know that something's not right inside you, but it's hard to express it in words. You may also struggle to connect with those around you if you often feel emotionally distant from them. It's a common experience for many males to feel uncomfortable expressing their emotions, whether in relationships, at work, or in social settings. But why do men have such a hard time with this? We'll discuss this in detail in today's video, giving a better understanding of what's known as alexithymia, and why suppressing one's emotions can actually do more harm than good despite what men have been told in the past. Alexithymia involves difficulty identifying, describing, and expressing one's emotions and those of others. While it commonly occurs with autism spectrum disorders, alexithymia also affects about 10% of the general population. A study in Finland showed that alexithymia affects men nearly twice as much as women. If you have alexithymia, it can make it difficult to be aware of your own feelings and how they affect others. Express emotions. Label or talk about feelings. Discriminate between emotions and bodily sensations. Recognize, understand, and respond to the emotions of others. Manage stress. And show altruistic behavior. Alexithymia might make you feel disconnected and misunderstood. You may rationalize or intellectualize your emotions directing your mental energy to providing a logical assessment of the situation to avoid emotional discomfort. This can strain your relationships, as people may perceive you as distant or insensitive. Over time, this emotional disconnect can affect your mental health, leading to greater stress and trouble dealing with life's obstacles. If suppressing your emotions worked so well, then you'd feel happy all the time, right? The Challenges Men Face in Expressing Feelings Think of a time your partner was distressed and turned to you for comfort. How did you react? Did you struggle to connect with their emotions, instead giving them practical advice without understanding why they were even more upset? Because you rationalize rather than provide emotional support, your partner may feel misunderstood and unsupported, even if you sincerely care. When you're unable to identify your own emotions, then just imagine how difficult it must be to recognize them in someone else but sometimes it can feel confusing as to exactly what we're experiencing within ourselves. Maybe you've noticed that it's challenging to verbalize what's going on internally. How do you manage conflict and express anger, hurt, and frustration? During a heated argument at work, you may emotionally shut down or become overly analytical instead of discussing the emotions you're currently confronted with, even if you're experiencing them profoundly but cannot articulate them. This might exacerbate the issue, since the other person may regard you as uninterested or uncaring. When a coworker asks you how you feel afterward, you may answer okay or fine because you can't express your feelings. But in actuality, you don't really feel okay or fine at all. Think of suppressing your emotions like you're holding an inflated ball underwater. You're doing your absolute best to keep it down but the pressure increases and eventually there comes a time when you just can't hold it down any longer and it eventually explodes outward. The deeper you try to push it down, the more forceful it will be when it rushes to the surface in an instant. However, when you bring the ball to the surface yourself, there is no eruption, just like how your emotions can be experienced and expressed in a much less intense manner this way. But how is it that men learn to suppress their emotions as deep down as they can? Well, this typically starts during childhood. Upbringing and Childhood Experiences Many men face significant challenges expressing their feelings and needs for various reasons, such as upbringing, cultural norms, or societal expectations. Emotional suppression and a lack of emotional vocabulary can make it difficult to understand yourself and interact with others, causing frustration and isolation. Boys who experience adverse childhood experiences may develop alexithymia. As children, many males are encouraged by their families to toughen up or be a man, because boys aren't supposed to cry. But in reality, this results in repressed emotions and difficulties articulating them. For example, if a child is continually advised to toughen up, 
he may learn that emotional expression leads to undesirable effects, making connecting with and expressing their feelings difficult. Phrases such as boys don't cry and man up foster belief that expressing emotions is not masculine. But this logic seems to suggest that the most masculine male is the one who just suffers the longest. Societal and Cultural Influences Masculinity norms often cause males to suppress their feelings. Most cultures teach men from a young age that vulnerability equals weakness and helplessness confining them to a small number of acceptable emotions like happiness and anger. At the same time, feelings of sadness, shame, or fear may be hidden deep within. In many cultures, men are supposed to provide for their families and keep them safe, which often means they must be strong and emotionless. Because of this, men may bottle up their feelings, which can lead to more stress and possible mental health problems. For example, when males feel hurt, upset, or ashamed, they frequently suppress their emotions and resort to fury as a more masculine way of expressing themselves. Males' anxiety about not living up to these masculine standards pushes men to behave in an exaggerated way to avoid being seen as inadequate, trying to hide their insecurities and fears from others and themselves. Research shows that men are just as likely as women to have mental health problems and experience anxiety and depression. However, while women tend to show signs of anxiety and depression, men are more likely to externalize and use substances, violence, and aggression while struggling with mental health problems. The thing about emotions is that even when you try your hardest to suppress them, they still try to find their way out. So even when you're not acknowledging the discomfort of your negative emotions, you instead may find that other negative behaviors or experiences start to increase. For example, you may become more irritable, have trouble sleeping or experience nightmares, are quick to anger, or feel more stress or tension in your body. Even when you try to ignore negative emotions, they're still there. In fact, they tend to get stronger and compound over time if not dealt with appropriately and will begin to have a negative impact in various areas of your life. Impact on Work Suppressed emotions may impact your career. Your struggle with emotional expression can hamper communication, leading to misunderstandings with coworkers and employers, perhaps leading to a rise in conflict. Also, your difficulty managing stress can limit productivity and job satisfaction. Over time, this emotional bottleneck can hinder career progress and performance, while making you feel overall miserable at work. Effects on Relationships and Social Connections When you struggle to articulate your emotions, it can lead to misunderstandings and emotional distance between you and your loved ones. People may regard you as distant or unfeeling, leading to conflicts and losing relationship intimacy. When others see you as emotionally unavailable, this may make it difficult for you to connect with others on a deeper level and have meaningful relationships. Mental and Physical Health Consequences Holding on to your emotions can cause pressure inside, manifesting as constant sadness, irritability, or fear. Over time, hiding your feelings can make it hard to enjoy life, make you less motivated, and hurt your self-esteem. There are strong links between your mind and body, so suppressing your feelings can hurt your physical health too. Not letting out your feelings in an appropriate manner causes long-term stress that can lead to illnesses like high blood pressure, heart disease, and stomach problems. But you're not the only one that tends to suffer, so do the ones who play a part in your life. Nobody wants to experience negative emotions. Unfortunately, you may find that you feel worse and for longer when you try to ignore them. Kind of like if you kept walking on a broken foot, hoping the pain will magically go away as long as you toughen up and try to ignore it. The foot is still broken and won't heal properly unless something's done to address it. With conscious effort and support, however, you will eventually learn to embrace vulnerability, openly express your emotions, and build a more true and healthier expression of masculinity. Then you'll know what true strength and courage feels like. The task we must set for ourselves is not to feel secure, but to be able to tolerate insecurity. If there's a male in your life who you think may benefit from this video, please share it with them. And if you are someone who is easily irritated or sometimes struggles to control your anger, then you'll want to watch this video over here. Thank you for watching and see you next time.